I use Malcolm from Aquaspray. These are our manual hose reels that we have on the website. They've proven very popular. Um, if you ever get a leak from this swivel joint, this is how to fix it. So the first thing you want to do is lock it into a position where you can get at this uh, hose and unscrew it from there. If this is really, really tight, you might need to take this uh, little red strap off or worst case scenario, unravel the hose completely so that you've got a little bit of play. This one's got a little bit of play, so it should, once it's unscrewed, just come off like that. So this is the bit that you need to get off and you're going to need some circlip pliers. Uh, I'm trying to do this round the wrong way, but with these circlip pliers, just take that off and then just remove that elbow. Try and remember which way it goes because they are slightly on an angle just to keep this away from fouling the edge. So once that's off, you'll see two sets of seals. There's a flat washer and a round washer and a round washer and a flat washer on this. And that's how they need to go. So the flat washers on the outside, the round washers on the inside. So you get a pick, which I will find somewhere. So you can just get a paper clip or anything, screwdriver, just to hook these O-rings off. This one only had one O-ring on, which is probably why it was leaking. So just pick the O-ring. going round until you eventually get the whole thing off. And the same with the flat washer. Uh, if it comes to it, you can break it if it's easier. So then you have a recess here and a recess here and the hole. The hole is where the water comes out and you need to seal it inside this so you need the flat washer and on the flat washer itself there is a groove and that groove sits the o-ring in so you have the flat washer and the o-ring fits in the groove like that so now i need to go and get some because i haven't got some with me so while i'm going for some o-rings just take a quick minute to hit the like button and it looks like I'm coming back. So here we go. So the seal kit, the seal kit will come into uh, into a little bag like this. Once again, you will have a flat washer. There will be a flat side, and there will be a groove side. And the groove side must go onto the O-ring. It almost sort of grabs the o-ring uh, to support it so when you're putting it on you need to be quite careful with it and just do it a stage at a time and drop it so push it round if you've got a little tool to do that or a little screwdriver just keep putting it into the sections so you get to the last one and this is where you need to make sure that you have the groove side facing to the middle and once you have make sure then you can get your round o-ring and then careful not to stab or break this o-ring but move this round until it's there. So now you've got a flat o-ring and a round o-ring that's on it and it is supported. With this one you might as well put the o-ring on first but you've just got to make sure that the the ring is going to be supported when it's 
fits around. You have to be really careful or else you break this flat washer and then you'll get it leaking again. If you have a struggle putting this on, you might want to put the flat washer on first. Sometimes you can't see whether the flat washer is the correct way or not when the O-ring's on first. But as long as the round O-ring's on the inside and the flat washer's on the outside, you should be okay. So a little bit of grease. And again, you don't have to absolutely cover it but just grease the o-rings so that it can you're going to get less wear in the long term so which way it goes and then you've got to obviously be careful when putting it back on because if you trap the o-ring again which it looks like i did if you trap the o-ring it will leak again That looks good. And then the circle it back. And make sure it's in that groove and it's not going to come out. Once that's done, put your hose on. And again, if you were leaking from here, it would be that little green o ring there. But put that in its place. Screw that up nice and tight. Make sure that it's not going to catch anywhere. And then you're good to go. No more leaks. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it saved you a few quid on just buying the O-rings instead of a full elbow or a new hose reel for that matter. Uh, give me a thumbs up. The links to the seal kits and the hose reels all in the description. Um, give me a like. And yes, I did stab my finger with a sharp pick. Keep going round until you eventually get the whole thing off. <laughs>